Hello YouTube. Uh, have my AC705 out in the Ranger here and uh, testing out my uh, uh, quad or uh, two band uh, dipole antenna, uh, hamstick antenna, I should call it, hamstick dipole antenna. I think that's what I called it on my description anyway. Uh, just a temporary setup in the back end of my uh, Ranger because of these uh, nice little uh, lock and ride uh, holes here. I was able to put a one inch conduit in and then uh, I did some uh, work with uh, making a bracket. I haven't uh, shown that yet I don't think. Uh, and then uh, I got my hamsticks here the other day so I got those on. I got a 20 meter and a 40 meter on here and uh, kind of cool you can actually swing it uh, to get better signals uh, from different directions so anyway uh, it works uh, SWR on the uh, 20 uh, I took a guess I just kind of set it to what uh, uh, the uh, shark distributing uh, little uh, piece of paper that comes with it says and and it's pretty close uh, I think I can adjust it in a little bit better I'll have to play with that uh, it's a little uh, uh, that low SWR is a little high on 20 but uh, it's right in at uh, 1.5 to uh, 1 at uh, 432 or 4, 14 I should say 14 332 uh, uh, megahertz 14.332 megahertz that's what I'm tuned into now. I'm listening to the YL system. I did uh, contact one of their uh, controllers and he said he could hear me loud and clear. Running on 5 watts uh, on battery power, the battery that uh, goes in the back end of this thing. And uh, it's amazing. Uh, a thousand miles and uh, the thing works good. And like I said, I can swing it one way or the other. Uh, to wherever uh, the signal's coming uh, from. Right now I got it pointed kind of towards the southeast. So uh, anyway, pretty happy, pretty happy with this. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that this will be my uh, portable antenna. I know it seems like a, a lot of uh, monkey business, but uh, it'll break down, I think, fairly decent. Uh, when I go portable, I guess I don't really do any, I'm not in the best of shape, so it'll definitely be close to my vehicle, or I can even maybe use my vehicle uh, receiver hitch as a, uh, uh, as a mounting spot, but very happy. The 40 is off uh, by quite a bit, but uh, uh, apparently the, the numbers that they gave me for that one wasn't the greatest there. Anyway, uh, my grandson's out uh, with the uh, four-wheeler today. It's a fairly nice day. Uh, sun went behind the clouds here, so uh, it's a little starting to get a little chilly. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, uh, I think I have uh, the items in the description of the uh, video that I shot previously. Uh, the rest of it I just kind of made up and as I went, things that I had, the clamps I had to go get at the hardware store and they're just uh, 5 16 inch uh, bolt uh, U-clamps and they are uh, 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 1 and 3 8 inch in diameter. My plan is, is to take a uh, top uh, chain rail, uh, yeah, chain link uh, top rail, I should call it, uh, piece that are t they're 10 feet and then they're swathed at the end so that I can uh, put them together. But uh, this one here is uh, probably 13 feet off the ground and I'm getting wonderful, uh, wonderful performance out of it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, no, I'm not gonna make you one, but, uh, but uh, maybe if you're a really good friend, I might make one. But anyway, have a great, have a great day. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a, yep, bye now. Yeah, a little close up of uh, the unit without the pole and the uh, cord on it or the uh, coax cable on it, but the, just an SO2, uh, 239 
SL239 uh, bulkhead connector. And I took a video of the inside earlier on that, uh, a previous video. This one will be part two. And I showed the uh, results of it. Uh, and I'll put up, put together up in the air. So there you go. Very simple design. Uh, stuff that I had, I had some uh, about five inch wide or four and a half inch wide, I should say, uh, metal that I've been had sitting around for another project. I had way too much of it. I don't know why I told them to cut up that much, but it's mine now. I own it. So there you go. Um, no, I probably wouldn't build these. Uh, I don't want to go into competition with somebody. Uh, it, uh, MFJ's got something like this. Uh, uh, Chameleon has something like this, and I guess uh, I should have the right to be able to uh, um, uh, tr uh, copy it or whatever you want to call it and uh, see if I can make my own version of it. Uh, no, it's probably not as well put together as theirs is. Uh, I was thinking about doing a metal version. The next time around, I think I had mentioned before, I think I'm just going to get, uh, uh, if I use a plastic box, I did notice that the plastic box does bend just a little bit, just very slightly, but this is a thick box. This box, uh, the sides in this box are at least a little bit, uh, just a hair under an eighth inch. Very, very strong, very, very uh, strong box. So I just... Uh, use the ears that are on it to bolt this down so anyway thanks for watching oh yeah the clamps inch and uh three eighths inch uh, diameter clamps and what i'm going after is using a uh a, a pipe or something that would be that high i was thinking about maybe putting two together but honestly i think uh, a 10 foot pipe if i use a uh, uh receiver hitch uh, hookup is going to be enough uh, to handle. Uh, so there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, also maybe consider, I might consider putting quick attach on here, quick disconnects, but I'm not sure. It's not that big of a deal to screw those in. Uh, I guess to be a little cumbersome trying to uh, uh, unbolt them or unscrew them when they're uh, in a position where it's if it's standing straight up it's not bad or straight down one thing but if it's at a side they do bind a little bit so well hey thanks for watching uh, i've went on and long enough on this but yeah it works uh, like i said i made a contact over a thousand miles away on a uh uh oh just a uh, uh i think it was called it's called well i know it's called the yl systems system uh, they're having a uh, uh, couple of uh, uh, sessions today, so uh, they're always there. They can always uh, see if your radio is working with those guys, 14.332 on 20 meters. Uh, like I said, they're always there uh, at night. They're at, on uh, uh, 40 meters, so have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.